Let's see, where did we last leave off? Yes, 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 I had just been chasing a bunch of kobolds. And, uh, I'm not really sure where I'm going yet. I think I'm supposed to head here, at Nestle's Crossing. I think that's where we left off. It's glowing, so we might as well go to it, right? The Stag Lord awaits. This is a pretty big map. Now, we haven't really done a whole lot, so... Let's just get going. Okay, it's a fork. Oh. Actually, whoa, what's this? An excavation site. Let's go back here. Come on. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Oh, they want to rest. Let's let, let's go ahead and let them camp. Mm -hmm. I hope uh, we have enough food. Good, thank goodness for the hunting. Because food's real heavy and I haven't got my bag of holding yet. Like, every single ration cost us 10 pounds. That is ridiculous. I'm going to end up with a whole bunch of bags of holding simply because I'm playing a halfling. And that means I need all the munchies as often as possible. But it looks like we've got some manner of uh, scavenging. So we're going to be good to go. So what is in this excavation site? It's all blue and shiny. I need to find out. Oh, there's a full map. Um, hmm. A burial site of numerous items dating back to the Age of Enthronement. Kingdom resource. So I can't do anything with this yet because I'm not a kingdom yet. But I will be. Or at least it's... Ah! We've got random bad things! We can try to avoid it. Or fight. I'm not an avoid it kind of person. Oh, thank you, Dungeon Novice! So, evidently, that is used for when we have our barony. So, good thing we found the shiny blue thing. We just can't do anything with Enemy it just yet. What do we got here? We got a winged kobold. Or just a normal kobold with the fake wings. Maybe. And a kobold alchemist. Okay, so alchemists in first edition Pathfinder are rather deadly. Oh! Sneaky, sneaky, hidey kobold. So I think we need to rush him first. So let's just do just that. Amiri, you got one job. And that job is to smash. I want you to smash like you've never smashed before. In fact, I want you to charge this kobold. Not just smash it. But charge smash it. You and the rest of our ranged contingent will attempt to... Uh, we're going to not snowball. I don't want to waste that. Just some ray of frosts until we figure out what we're going to be doing. And you, with that deadly ranged attack of yours, attack that cobalt alchemist. Everybody ready? You got the game plan. Let's begin! This is one of those pause and play combat style games, just like the old Infinity Engine Baldur's Gates, and I love those style. But I am a pause frequently kind of player, so you will see me. Ooh! I don't like that. Why'd you do that? Why did you just bar fire all over everyone that I brought to this fight? Oh well. Yeah, there we go. You didn't have much left in you. Okay, so you two. Let's not waste any spells. Just shoot it till it's dead. Amiri, you know what to do. Tower Shield Specialist is always handy to have, but that shield is so heavy! Oh, I keep talking about things being heavy, it's because I need all the weight I can get. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We've got leather armor, nobody needs leather armor. Uh, short bow, let's take that and see if we can do anything with it. Gold, that's good. Alright. Adventures call to that. Oh, this is going to be part of it. Let's see, and a light crossbow, we don't really need that. It doesn't sell well enough for me to carry it around. Spear ditto, leather armor, no need for any of that. We'll leave all this stuff behind. And we are done. So is there an exit up here? All according to plan. Let's quick save, because of course we should. Now there was a five gigabyte patch 
recently for this game. I don't know what all it addressed. Um, I hope it addressed the random, unescapable, massive, way overpowered fight scenes that I've heard are in here because I do not want to get slaughtered by a bunch of elder water elementals right off the bat. Okay. And we're going to leave all this stuff. We, we, we don't want to weigh down. See, look, we're, almost, we're already a medium load. And, and look at that. Look at how, how close we are to full just with this little bit of gear. We also have 1,400 gold pieces, but we need 2,500 gold pieces to get that coveted bag of holding, and even more if we want to recruit in some crew, uh, without it just being the ones we find, that is. Okay. I do like how they animate this map with little tokens, and especially a little token tipping over. Adds a bit of character. Ooh, there's a trail in the hills. Once popular, this trail now slowly melds into the surrounding wilderness. Most travelers came here via Nettles Crossing, but with the destruction, the trail has been abandoned. You've never been to this location. Let's go here. The path of this location is unknown. Aha. Do you want to enter this location? Let's see what's here. I uh, cancel. Let's save our game and then see what's here. Thank you for everyone who's joined us in the chat uh, while this loads. Again, I am Perrin from No Direction. Check us out at NoDirectionPodcast.com. We are the longest running and most prestigious podcast network for Pathfinder, Starfinder, and all of the Paso goodness. And that's a bunny. Is this my bunny? This is not my bunny. This is all like spooky blue stuff. Well, let's see. I hear wolves howling, and I see bunnies, which gives me a thing. I, I need know to, what to do. I need to summon my bunny. I do have my rabbit familiar summoned. Okay. All right. So, all according to plan. Is that that is my bunny? That is my bunny. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. A mature leopard. Well, I told you this was a G-rated stream, so we may need to look away for a minute. This should right. do it. Cats are some of the most dangerous animals in Pathfinder because of the raking, the pouncing, the claw, the claw, the biting. Uh, but this one seems to be uh, no match to Amiri. Few things are a match to Amiri, all things said and done. She's just taking some hits. I might have to heal her. I don't want to have to heal her. Okay, Amiri, can you do something about this? Do you got like an ability here? Uh, let's see what we got. No, I don't need to fight defensively. Oh. You've not been raging at all, all this time. You've not been raging. Oh, well. Tear them apart! Mm -hmm. this okay, so you have to stop me. here. Uh, Amiri, can you drink a potion? Do you have anything in your... Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, but this is not, this is not all doom and gloom. Because... I have cure light wounds on the bard, even though these look like a little bit more than light wounds. And I don't see a lot I can do here. Let's demoralize that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm light. Well, this is not great. I'll yes, survive. I always survive. Okay. She came back up thanks to that cure wounds. Let's throw it again on her. I don't think I'm healing her up fast enough. This leopard is much more dangerous than I thought it was going to be. So let's hit it with a snowball. Look how much hit points this darn leopard has taken. What happened there? Did I hit? A Miri with my snowball? Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. I'm terrible at this. Alright, let's just color spray the darn thing. That gone this leopard. 
How many hit points does it have? Well, it successfully will say, because of course it did. It's a jerk. Um, let's blind it. I think it'll probably just save. This thing must be like a billion level leopard. What is up with you, leopard? Good grief. Yes, laughter, that won't help me. Let's just try to touch a fatigue. Oh no. I can't keep this up much longer. I'm glad that's a quick save because it looks like I'm gonna need it. Let us strike as one. Go defensively. Uh I need something a little bit nastier than that. I require healing. How tough is this thing? I'm getting my butt kicked by a kitty. This is not looking great for me. Nope, not looking great at all. So what else do I have? I have... I should have used that off the bat, but I didn't think this leopard would be that tough. Oh, it's dead finally. Good grief, that was way harder than it should have been. And we get a leopard pelt worth 12 gold. Great. What in the world were you doing in here, you crazy monster? Like, that must have been hundreds of damage to kill one little kitty. Oh, goodness. Well, we need to heal up, so it's time to drink some of the potions. So, let's see. You need to drink uh, uh, more of these than any of us. Let's see here. And the Miri. Can you drink a couple of these? Did you even drink it? Oh goodness, these potions are not lasting long. Oh, that must be why they were giving them to me right and left. Well, with 30 hit points, what can I expect? Darn kitty cat! In due time. Oh, we have a dead. A magic short bow. Interesting. That might have been why this was here and so freaking tough. On the cobalt of all things. That is Sneed. not far. Oh, you all. What is all this? As it should be. Of course, I'm going to stumble into some nasty, nasty, nasty if I keep just exploring. Well, of course, that's what this is for. Mm -hmm. No, it looks like that was it. Just one way overpowered kitty cat. And a magic bow to take with me. Well, we're going to be moving on. No need to stick around here. bit wounded there so I think I'm gonna go ahead and rest up again I know that I'm on a time limit but I will not get much accomplished if I'm dead let's go ahead and camp again gang I don't like it random encounter this is not good hopefully hopefully they're nice not like them to be too nice here Oh, well, this is fun. Our camp is all screwed up. I'm not really sure who is around. Oh, oh, here they are. More cobalt critters. I see three cobalt critters. And... 
nothing else. So, do I have much spells left? Not a lot. I do not have a lot on the spell list. Alright. It's time to enter rage. And then I want you to charge this kobold. I'm not doing it wrong. The spell is flawed. I'm not doing it wrong. The spell is flawed. Okay, charge that kobold. You go after that Let kobold. You shoot that Serves kobold. Because right. I don't think that other one's going to live. And I want you to get closer. Go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that didn't work out very well, did it? Moving around acrobatically has some it. advantages. Sneaky little cobalt ain't gonna last long, though. Okay. Alright, so... Bard! We've got a bad cobalt over here. Smash it in the face. A calculated risk. Actually, yeah, you two Do kill this one. Water. You won't last long. You are all ragey, ragey, ragey. Alright, and finally one more. And hopefully it will let us rest this time. Turn off the rage, we don't need it. And look at this, they just made a whole mess of our camp. Inconsiderate jerks. More spears, more leather armor, we don't need that. A pearl! We'll take it. Another short bow. We don't need another one. Especially since we have that magic one. Actually, since we have that magic one, we might want to figure out what it is. This is a longsword plus one, which doesn't do us a whole lot of good because none of our current character. Wait, wait, wait. You. Uh, no, you've, you've taken that. We um, you like to be a. Bastard Sword user, so that long sword plus one's not going to be much good to you. And Amiri, of course, her infamous ginormous sword is not really, really going to be able to be replaced. But we can take a look. This is a short bow plus one. So, congratulations, Lindsay. You got an upgrade. But, okay, for a second there I thought it looked like a crossbow. I'm like, no, please tell me they have real bow graphics. They do! They have the real bow graphics! And we'll be moving on. Enjoy the upgrade, Lindsay. Continue to please kill many things with it. Now, it's going to make me leave the zone, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's going to make me leave the zone. Um, yeah. Just so that I can come back to camp. And we're going to leave all that stuff. I do say I am enjoying my time with this game. Uh, Kingmaker was not a campaign I was likely going to ever be able to get together. It just was a little bit too meta for most of the groups I play with. And I haven't really heard of a lot of successful Kingmaker campaigns. They usually all spread out. So this might be the only chance uh, we get to do this. Okay. We need a camp. And I don't know that camping on the boss location is great. Okay, we've got rations. We didn't camouflage very well. And... Well, we didn't enjoy the food very much. I hope that doesn't hurt us too often. But we're going to move on. And we're going to enter Nettles Crossing. So we're looking for the Stag Lord. Or the little bitty Tordusio. All according to plan. The purple gnome of jerk faceness. Okay. Oh, I always save the game. Okay, I see purple. Purple is bad. Oh. You look very zombie. 
The corpse's face is bloated from being so long in the water. The stench from its toothless mouth is so foul that your eyes begin to water. The hand, clenching a sinister-looking spear, is covered in scabs. Suddenly, you feel a faint, as if cold, wet hand is placed heavy on top of your head. Wet hair sticks to skin, and trickles of ice-cold water run down your face and shirt. A hoarse whisper rises inside your head. There you are. So, it was you who sent me those nightmares. Gurgling, deep-chested laughter pierces your skull, clouding your vision and flooding your ears. All else becomes muffled, as if you are trapped underwater. You shake your head to cast off the apparition. Who are you? Davik Netta. A storm of bright images flashes before your eyes. A long time ago, this person, then a living man, came here from Brevoy, constructed a rope bridge, built a house, and lived in it, collecting payment from those who crossed the river. So how did you die, Devic Nettle? You see a vision of a lovely spring day. Sunbeams shine warm against your cheeks. Three men approach the house by bridge, one of them wearing an antlered helm. The Stag Lord! Angry faces, a quarrel, a glint of an unsheathed sword. Suddenly the Stag Lord's greedy eyes are twisted by surprise. The master of the house unleashed his hounds. Okay. A burning stirs. A murdering smell stirs you awake as the sound of loud barking. Flames are crawling up the walls, the sound of breaking glass, the bitter cold night air. You are outside, outside the house, and something is wrong. An arrow strikes deep in your shoulder. You hear the guffaw of ten throats. You run, already in the middle of the bridge. The man with the antlered helm cuts one of the ropes. An ear-splitting scream fills the air. Oh, I remember that crazy vision. What do you want from me? You see a vision of a man wearing an antlered helm. You hear a muffled groan, and the helm drops to the ground with a loud thud. Your hands are covered with hot blood. Too much blood. Don't you just Don't you just hate it when someone asks you to do something you were going to do anyway? It makes me want to do nothing just to spite them. Why must I be the one who does it? Can't you kill the Stag Lord yourself? Let's see here. Okay. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. And then he seems to be a jerk face, so... Very well, I shall meet vengeance upon the Stag Lord. The drowned man who'd been sitting motionless nods his head. Come later. Take the spear. Okay. New quest, kill the Stag Lord. I was going to kill the Stag Lord anyway. In due time. Okay, so this is the bridge from the vision. It looks good and collapsed by now. Indeed. This is five points across the river. And this would be his house that got all burnt up. Full of nasty knots. Anything in it? Yeah, here we go. A small house burnt down a dozen years ago. Okay. Well, we definitely aren't going to go anywhere from here. That is not far. Okay, but this was the only other place I knew to go. So we're still on the hunt. Again, thank you everybody who's joined us on Twitch right now. If you have anything to say or any questions, please speak up. I like answering questions. I am Param from the No Direction Network. At NoDirectionPodcast.com, we have an amazing array of Pathfinder and Starfinder related content on there, including several actual play podcasts. In No Direction itself, the longest running and most prestigious Pathfinder podcast in the world. 
So this is a nice long line up to here with a whole lot of nothing in between. Oh goodness. But what's this? Old Sigmar. Oh. Hmm. Were we supposed to go to the old Sigmar? Let's see here. The road to glory. Let's see here. Leave the hall, we did that. Help Jamaldi, we did that. Speak with Jamaldi. A bitter victory. All brave heroes have assembled this hall. Okay, we fought a whole bunch of stuff. That's all done. The stolen land. Okay. Find the Temple of the Elk. Jod, a cleric of Aristil, has told us about this vision of the Temple of the Elk lost somewhere in the wilds. He asked for us to tell him if we happen to find it. I don't know where that is. Okay, we will fail in 80 days and 16 hours. Okay. Uh, inner, the encounter with the bandits led to nothing. We failed to recover where the Stag Lord's Fortress might be, but we can still search the camp. Maybe they will find some... Maybe we'll find some clues. Crap, were we supposed to keep searching that camp? Oh, goodness. Where was the Stag Lord's camp? It was here? Here? Alright, well, let's go that way. We're back. I can't believe I missed a clue. This wasn't even a very adventurous encounter. We actually, you know, just talked them out of being evil. All it worked for us really well. What's up with you, man? Hmm? What you want? Well, he's not saying anything. In due time. It's not even highlightable. Oh, that's the uh, cleric that we said we'd help. Okay, well, here's the camp. Cute puppies. Why did they leave their dogs behind? Oh. Notes of the Traveling Priest. Sweet pancakes. Written orders. Crystal, a task. As soon as you've done with the taxes, find an old hut in the woods upstream of Thorn River and burn it to the ground. This is Staglord's wish. He literally said, burn, burn. It was originally going to be Dovin, but he grew upset when he learned nobody lived in the hut. He said burning houses with no one in them was boring. So I said I'd send someone more reliable. It's a strange task, but try to finish it quickly. And no asking what the or why bother with this trifle instead of preparing for war with the rest of. We'll get to that. Signed A. Notes of the traveling priest Ithuk. Imagine this. A girl, whose name I shall not disclose, comes into a town and immediately purchases the most expensive suburban villa. This newcomer spends unfathomable amounts on charity, even returning several tragically perished citizens to life at her own expense. She's very young. Her rough speech and manners indicate that she's the, not of noble birth. This leaves a whole town wondering, how did this young lady come into possession of such a huge fortune? And why does she spend it so eagerly? Those secrets were revealed to me when I was invited to this mysterious girl's house to provide healing services. The young lady reluctantly displayed something she'd been hiding from everyone. Terrible acid burns. She forestalled any questions with a single word. Ilthuliak. The monstrous black dragon's name was well known in the River Kingdoms. She'd lived in the region for hundreds of years, inspiring terror and emptying settlements. Many experienced dragon hunters attempted to put a stop to her, and all perished. No one knew where Ithiliac's lair was, or where she would strike next. The wounds Ithiliac's acid breath left on my patient's body were terrible, but her soul was hurt much worse. The girl and her friends had found the lair of the dragon. They, they could have gathered hunters to destroy the monster, but they instead kept silent in search of profit. 
When the lair's mistress was absent, they would carry treasure out little by little. Ilthuliak suspected something was happening, so she set an ambush for the thieves, and they were all dealt with cruelly. My patient pretended to be dead. Surviving while... I have to open it up to read the rest. Surviving while the dragon devoured the bodies of her friends. She had much gold left at her disposal, but it came with a burden of memories that recalled devastated cities and countless people burned by acid. Unable to tolerate the guilt, the girl tried to atone for ill-gotten gains with good deeds. I was able to heal her wounds. When we parted, she told me she planned to spend the rest of her life, the rest of her wealth, organizing an expedition to Ilthiliac's lair to end the beast. I recently heard rumor that the villa has been abandoned for some, quite some time now. It's possible the owner left for other lands, but my heart tells me her bones lie in the lair of Ilthiliac, the winged terror and plague to the river kingdoms. So, looks like I'm going to be dealing with this dragon. And that puts me on another part of this quest. I need to go to the old hut that the stag lord wanted to destroy for some reason. Just letting the ink dry. Mm -hmm. All right. So save. We still have some hit point damage. Um. Okay, we're gonna do the old heal and rest. So heal her. That did a good job. That's good enough. Let's move on. Oh. That is not far. How are you all enjoying the stream so far? Is everything coming through clear? Is the audio levels nice? Let me know if anything needs to be adjusted. Okay, so upstream. Oh, is that it? That's a long way away. Okay, so let's go ahead and rest now. Hope I'm not resting too often. <laughs> Monsters! I can't avoid this fight. I must fight the monsters. One second, just checking. Okay, the Technic League! The Technic League! I didn't know we were... Oh, my chair just does not want to work right now. I didn't think we'd have to deal with these jerks. <clears throat> A well-armed fighter approaches. One of them raises their voice, pointing at you. Hey, you! Stop right there! Kana, look at this one! Will he do? The group's leader lays her cold and watchful eyes upon you. This one, I suppose... But I don't like his snout. Kana studies your companions carefully, but nonchalantly. As if examining the goods at market. Listen, you tramps. We're from the Technic League. Our slave died, and we need a replacement. One of you will be coming with us. The rest of you are free to go. I advise against resistance. It would be qu a quick trick to kill every one of you. Now choose! The one that you will give. What is the Technic League? We can't handle this. There's too many of them. What are we going to do? Lawful good. No negotiations with slavers. Chaotic neutral. You sure can talk. Let's see how you fight. Chaotic evil. I'll make you your own dream. That seems really the same choice. Uh, but I'm all with no negotiation with slavers. All right, Amiri. Super important. I need you to rage, and I need you to charge him. Yes, that's what I need you. You, I want you to run interference. Like a 
you, my main character here, I want you to make a Miri a giant a Miri. I want you to enlarge a Miri. And you get to the buffin. And yeah, you, I want you to be fighting defensively. Yeah, okay, so let's go. Um, that way. Yeah, I want you to go ahead and take the hits. You have crossed. This will be your undoing. Oh wow, that didn't that didn't last long. Uh, huh. They go down. Okay. Well, that was effective. Let's see if I can get in a color spray over here to ease up the worries. Don't want to hit my own person. Let's see if I can cast an offensive spell without collateral damage for once. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and let's go ahead and use another one. Okay, this all looks good. You, nobody's really taking any licks worth in healing. Okay. Let's just see how this goes. Ah, I can't believe I missed. Jeez. This is just not a great day. A calculated risk. This will hurt. Well, that was well done, well executed, and large person, still one of my favorite spells, especially when cast on the Barbarian with a sword already twice as tall as I am. Okay. So what do we got here? We got some long swords. Oh, an Estoc. Exotic proficiency group. But it's magic, so it's worth taking, because we're going to sell it. Bane. I'm gonna take that too. Because, you know, it's magic. Heavy shields and scale mail. Scale mail. Let's see if that fits anybody better, but I'll probably be leaving it alone. Alright. Any of you all like the scale mail better? Uh, you are wearing banded mail. I doubt you want the scale mail. Yeah, you want your banded mail. I want you in full freaking plate, though. I mean, if you're gonna be this defensive bulwark of a meat shield, you need the armor that goes with it. Alright. Uh, you're using chain shirt, that's the best you're gonna get. And you're using absolutely nothing, because wizards don't wear armor. Wizards don't wear armor. Alright, let's return back to... Oh, wow. Okay, I like that. Nice touch. Leaving your giant in the thing here. Okay, but that went well, so we're just going to go ahead and save. Um, let's see what was over here. A uh, masterwork longbow worth taking just so we can sell it. And we'll leave everything else. So anything else of any interest here? No, no, it doesn't look it. Okay. We're likely going to have to... Okay, there is the exit. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in the heavy load. Mm. We're in heavy load, so let's drop some of this nonsense. I'm gonna drop the scale now. Well, we'll have to leave. The insidious henchmen of the Ominous Technic League have disappeared into the thick wilderness of the mysterious stolen lands. But not for long! Soon we'd be upon them. First, though, we'd have to pick up their trail. To do that, we... Knowledge Arcana 20. Tried to understand, based on what we've seen, what kind of spell Kalani used to get away. Knowledge World 15. Tried to find anyone who could have seen the despicable people in nature. Well, I'm pretty good at Arcanus. Let's give that a shot. 
failed. Unfortunately, a spell such as an elusive is such an elusive thing. It can hardly be called a thing at all. No matter how hard we thought, we still had no idea what exactly she used. We had to find her another way. We let's try this knowledge of the uh, world trick. Succeeded. The wilderness only seemed deserted at first glance. Wandering around the area, we met a few mushroom gatherers and hunters who told us where they'd seen our quarry. We hadn't discovered the exact position of their camp, but we were closing in. After this, we, without searching for other ways to simplify our luck, we followed the trail of the Technique. Success! The henchmen of the Omnis Technic League are truly insidious, and the stolen lands a mysterious thicket. But true heroes think nothing of such things. We easily picked up the trail of these scoundrels and found their camp. Did we want to find their camp, though? I mean, for realsies. Did we want to do this? This seems dangerous and dumb. Oh. I don't have to go there right away. Wonderful. I also can't go there right now because there's a river in the way. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and camp. We got the crap beat out of us. Use some spells. I'm overusing this camp, I think I know. And that was not great. Hey, but at least we uh, found the food. Let's follow the river until we get to the abandoned hut. I tire. And they want to camp again. Well, I don't want to go into a fight in the fatigued condition. Go ahead and enter now. We're well rested. We're ready to kick some moderate rear end. Okay, well, moving on. Guardian of the Bloom. Hey, hey, sure. Follow, okay, we will follow the Guardian of the Bloom. You look all cool and silver and shiny like. Okay. Um. Oh, we're gonna get ghost vision. Father, please. I looked for the herbs you asked for. There just weren't enough to. Silence! Did I? Did you forget the rules? I can't read that fast enough. And he just did he murder? Him? No, he just, uh, just a little bit of evil magic torture. Not full on murder torture. What's going on with Valerie? I'm listening. Blindness permanent? How'd you get. Oh, man. Permanent blindness. Is there anything we can do for that? I don't know of anything I can do for that. We need to remove blindness spell. And I do not have it. I wrote it like I saw it. That's seriously going to nerf us. But I've got nothing. Maybe we'll we'll treat wounds. Help. Ready for anything? It doesn't seem to do anything. I am yours to command. This didn't work. I must be doing it wrong. Okay, well, I know that helped. This requires your attention. Potions help. We're gonna really. We're gonna have to go back to base. 
Hopefully that friendly cleric dude will be there, but... In due time. This seems bad. <laughs> Ghost dude's arguing. Oh, the... Oh... And he killed his dad. Well, we're seeing the origin stories of the Stag Lord. Oh, he didn't kill his dad. He just made his magic dad his slave. Hmm. Topaz ring, potion of vanish. Gold coins. Well, let's take all that. That is not far. And we're gonna put this potion of enlarged person on a Mary. On your belt. And we're gonna put this potion of cure mother wounds on your belt as well. to do with you. I don't have any way to cast any of this stuff. I don't have remove blindness. Darn it. That's a nasty little thing to be tossing at us at level 1. Well, you I stay full defensive and hope. The flowers, birds, and wind told me you would come. Oh, my poor flowers. They will perish before long in this fog. It seems that only I can see or hear the nymph. Not many have heard a voice from above, and fewer still are those who followed it to a positive outcome. Well, I mean, I am just, uh, like, talking to a random crazy person. Uh, surely that makes me the most qualified person to be your king. Hmm. Oh, it was a druid, not a wizard. That makes more sense. Do you really wish to know? Fine. I'll tell you a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there lived a young nymph. She lived in an enchanted forest where thousand birds sung day and night. Where the sun often left a spark or two hanging in the tree crowns, and where the starlight fell on sleepy glades like a glowing soft haze. Well, that sounds like a perfectly pleasant place to be. The young from. nymph loved simple things, like sitting by the stream with her friends, braiding each other's hair, and adorning their braids with crystals made of dew or watching the flowers blooming. But inside her soul, the young nymph dreamed of something more. Something more? Oh, dreams. Nothing in any world can live without them. Even a seed that falls in fertile soil cannot sprout without the dream of the sun. The same was true for our nymph. She wished to turn her enchanted forest into a true fairy tale kingdom and fill it with thousands of wonders. But plans so ambitious rarely go unnoticed by greater powers. Dun dun dun. I guess this is the tragic backstory part of the game. Those greater powers decided to punish the nymph for her boldness. They sent a horrible monster to poison the enchanted forest and kill the singing birds. These and powers are jerks. Was forced to flee. And finally she found shelter here in the stolen lands. Here she hoped to sprout the seeds of a new dream, even as she mourned the dream she'd lost. But then 
A magic mist appeared, killing everything that lived. And the nymph cast about, desperately searching for help. So far, these are the fairy tale's final words. But I hope this is not the end, just yet. Mm, okay, well, what do you want me to do? Because this Search sounds the terrible. Area around the hut. Try to find anything that remained of the druid who lived here. I am sure the pog is his doing. This suffocating veil is as vicious as his nature. We should learn more about the fog and the ritual through which it was created. Return to me if you find anything. The past may hide the answers that shape the future. Okay. Yeah, I will return later. Farewell. I'll be waiting. It seems like their objective is clear. We have a token of the dryad. Uh, info? What's this do? Okay, well, it's just money. Great. Okay. And we've got money, 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 and money. We'll take all that money. As it should be. Mm -hmm. I see something. And we have a note. I went to the old temple of the elk again today. Wicked, gloomy place, just like my soul. It used to shine once, and in its hollow and ho horrible, and it's hollow and horrible now. Did he spy on me? Maybe I should lock him up. No, let him be. What can he do? The useless coward just whimper and hide. We might now know where that. Uh... You come again. Did you find something? Found this Ancient temple of the oak thing. The temple of the stag god. Yes, yes, that must be it. The place of power where the druid created the fog. Perhaps we'll be able to cleanse it from there. The temple hides in a thicket not far from here. You'll need to go there and purge the place of whatever evil still lingers there, summoned by the druid's sinister ritual. Take care. You are my only hope. Okay, well, we've got some idea of something to do. Is there anything else we can use? Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Well, that's just a nasty thing to hide here. And, and, and it's a wolf, so knowing this game, it's got 2 billion HP uh, and a howitzer hidden in its jaws. Alright, uh, I want you to acrobatics your way back here. Okay, and then we are going to blast it with magic! That works. Snowball it! Aha! I hit something with snowball for once. Go on, can't you guys finish it off? Good. There we go. Huh? There was nothing in the chest? Nothing in the chest at all. Hmm. Anything in the house itself? No. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. In due time. Save the game. We at least know where we're going now. We're going to be going to the Temple of the Elk. But I know a man who wants to know about that temple. A man who's a cleric. A cleric who can hopefully unblind my Valerie here. Okay, so where is the temple? Is this the temple? This is the temple of the elk, but first we need to get back to Oleg's trading post, which we're going to do by going this way. Stop. Can't. Be interesting. Oh, and I notice we still we have the blind girl doing the the, the guarding of the camp. That's great. What in the world is that? 
Looks like a resource that we can come get later. And the road, and we're back! Entering Oleg's trading post! Home sweet kind of home. We are going to be talking about this game at great length tomorrow with me, Ryan, and Lauren, who you might know as Lily from No Direction Adventurous, our actual plague podcast, where we're going through the War for the Crown, hosted by the fantastic Crystal Frazier, our GM, who was the developer on that adventure path, so few people know it better. All according to it is a fantastic actual play. I recommend everyone check it out. Her voice work is incredible. And cutscene! So this is great. Now, I forget what I did for her. I think it was... Hilly? Listen, I, listen, listen there's. Well, since you dispatched the bandits with such skill, maybe you can help out with another problem. There's a feral swine living in the woods. Not a normal wild pig. We're talking about a vicious boar. A, as big as a bear and wicked as a devil. The locals call him Tusk Gutter. Many hunters have lost life and limb to him. Veckel Benzen found his lair and went to kill the beast, but came back with one leg. He put a bounty on the boar's head, but it looks like there aren't any heroes around here bold enough to claim it. Maybe you can rid us of this monster. Hey! What's better than the local wussies, right? Wanna bet I can chop off this tusk to snap with a single swing? Come on, let's go find out! That sounds fun. Right. That's the way I like it. Let's do it! Okay. I'm all for killing dangerous wildlife. Can you help me? No. In due time. Where is my cleric friend who said he wanted... My cleric friend who said he wanted to go in there. That is not far. Hmm. What the frig is this? Focus on the goal. It's a fairy dragon. Why is the fairy dragon just hanging out here? Okay. Don't As know. it should be. Oh, there's my cleric friend. How may I serve you? I need the help of a cleric. Huzzah, there we go. Um, I don't need a scroll. I need you to actually cast a spell. All you're offering me are scrolls. Great. Three hundred gold. Good grief. I don't need the spell. I need you to just do it. You sell diamonds, at least, and diamond dust. Man. Don't you just make with the magic? Maybe my bard can do it. Hey, can you do with the magic? I can't prep spells on the bard, of course. They In only know time. the spells they know. How may I serve you? Okay. You can't help me. Great. I came here for All nothing. According to plan. Ah, well. We'll rest up here. Don't even need to rest up here. Why, oh why, 
Did the cleric oh have to be evil? The problem is, it's like, even if I buy that scroll to help her, in due time, can even none, none of us can even use it, right? Oh well, let's sell our junk. At least get rid of our stuff. Uh, show me your wares, Oleg. Reach man a magic wand. That's nice. Anyway, we need to get rid of our junk. We'll get rid of it with that long sword and all this weapons we no longer need. Everybody at this point. Oh, I'm gonna keep the ever burning torches. Everybody at this point has something that they're using. Uh, do I hang on to a heavy mace? Nah. Uh, sort in ascending by order. Okay. Get rid of this, that, that, longbow, get rid of it, get rid of it, all of it, gone, gone, I can't carry this junk. Garnet ring, gone. Silver ring, gone. Topaz ring, gone. Necklaces, all the necklaces, they're all gone. This isn't magic, is it? No, okay. <sighs> And that brings me on to 92 pounds. Let's deal with this one. Um, it, is it quest specific? I don't know what that's for. Hmm, these are quest items. I need to find honey if I can make some pancakes. I think this is the merchant would pay well for it stuff. Let's get rid of all the luxury items. Anything else? Levered pelt. That jerk of a leopard. Lots of stuff to get rid of. Lots of stuff to just bail on. And we have it here. Everything is taken care of. We have uh, a bunch of books and we're still 80 pounds in stuff here. Of just like random knickknacks and chicken stuff. Why did why oh why did there have to be a cooking mini game? But we're gonna get over a thousand gold, which we will take for certain, and that gives us enough gold to buy that bag of holding that he has. Back. No, 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 no. Oh, that's not a search field. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, I know you've got a bag of holding in here. Where is it? Where is my bag of holding? Is it another? Small bag of holding. There it is. Sick. Oh, they made... Oh, no, they didn't. Urgh, this will be most of my stuff. Okay, I'll be right back. Be right back. Oh, s -Dog. Get rid of that. There we go. Deal. Okay, now we've got more than enough to get this and heal up. We need to buy that bag of holding. There we go. And there we go. Man, camp supplies 40 pounds. Good grief. And we've got our bag of holding. That is not fun. We also have a blind fighter. I'm gonna save here because I'm pretty. How may I serve you? Need the help of a cleric. And all you're gonna do is sell me scrolls because you're a jerk. But I need a scroll of remove blindness. 
it's going to cost me a fortune. Where is it? Scroll up, remove blindness. Okay, let's just see if this will even work. Not do anything. That did, did that even do anything? How may I serve you? Okay, load up that save. Except. All right, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this stream, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Not the most exciting stream in the world, but at least we moved the plot forward. Make sure you join us next time as we talk. Not next time. I'm going to continue to do these streams, but make sure you join us tomorrow for No Direction, where me, Ryan, and Lauren will be talking about Pathfinder Kingmaker and how it has been. Thank you all. Save.